downtown Palm Springs, Saturday night. Big excitement around us. <laughs> it's a sleepy little town. And uh, and we are on the Hollywood Walk of, you can't call it, wait, it's a Palm Springs Walk of Stars. You can't call it the Walk of Fame because that's copyrighted by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. But here we are in front of the star that is presented to Judy Tenuta, the legendary comic who uh, unfortunately passed away in Studio City just a few weeks ago, probably about six weeks ago. And today's story, come, come closer, come closer. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about how Judy Tenuta ended. someone a little closer to the top of the food chain. <laughs> and then, you know what? You know what happened? He tried to kiss me. No, he cannot possess me. He tried to kiss me, and he kissed like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> His head fell back 180 degrees. <laughs> This is the Abbey of the Psalms Mausoleum inside Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles. Inside this building is the final resting place for Judy Tenuta. I'll show you the inside and tell you a little bit more about Judy's death, but first I'm going to tell you a story. So Judy Tenuta died, as I just mentioned a second ago, just a, just a few weeks ago really. and. I have a little story to tell you about Judy. Now, Judy's friends with a lot of people that I know. I've met her a few times. I've seen her in concert a few times, uh, but I, I wouldn't call myself a friend of hers. But something kind of funny happened once. Uh, it was, Troy, you're going to flip. How long ago do you think that Maryland event was? Oh, it was like 10 years ago. I, 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 it was 12 years ago. Oh, my God. I know. I know. It, 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 12 years ago, was Mar they had an 84th birthday party for Maryland at the Hollywood uh, History Museum. No, Hollywood Museum on Hollywood and Highland. It's a really good museum in the old Max Factor building. And we scored invitations for this. And it was a star-studded event. Rose Marie was there. <laughs> Lonnie Anderson was there. In fact, Lonnie Anderson came in wearing uh, Marilyn's dress. They say it was the one that she wore in Korea, but since then, we know it's not. But Lonnie Anderson was wearing a Marilyn dress. <laughs> Troy and I went and got a picture taken with her just so we could touch the dress. We didn't give a shit about her. We just wanted to touch Marilyn's dress. But uh, it was bizarre that they let her. So this ratty... <laughs> nasty nacho chip in this plastic uh, wine, cheap wine glass. This is, that's when you go to parties and their their wine is like, here, have a glass of wine. You're like, what? <laughs> Where's the rest of it? But these are artifacts. These are actually uh, collect. I collect these things because they have stories to them. And this was kind of funny. So I'm in the buffet line and Judy Tenuta is in front of me. And she takes, she has this roast beef sandwich that she didn't finish, and she threw it in the garbage. So I thought it'd be funny. And I said, I'm going to snatch that. I'm going to snatch it out of the garbage. I'm going to keep it. So she said, No, wait, no, wait, this is better. And she picked up another roast beef sandwich and uh, and she tried to kiss it and leave lip prints on it for me. So she, when that didn't work out, um, she asked me to hold her purse. And she uh, she took her lip gloss up and she started putting she, heavy, heavy, heavy lip gloss. And then she kissed this nacho chip. She picked up <laughs> the nacho chip and kissed it and gave it to me. I, I, you probably can't. This is so nasty. Uh, you probably can't even see lip marks on it. But I did take a picture of it that night. But, uh, yeah, Troy, you grabbed the nacho chip, actually. And, uh, and she kissed it for me. So, And during that night, it was kind of funny because I kept it that whole night. And, uh, and I remember... I remember we were, uh, oh, she and I were standing there and, and uh, Gloria Allred came in, Gloria Allred, you know, she, she represents 
<laughs> it was the whole thing. I said, what's she doing here? And Judy goes, I know. There aren't any hookers here for her to represent. <laughs> anyway, she was very funny. And I remember that when we left, because uh, I kept the I kept the nacho chip in my pocket. And uh, when we left, I saw her and I just I took the nacho chip out and I waved it to her. <laughs> and she laughed a lot. And that was that was kind of funny. That's my Judy story. Oh, wait. And I saw her once at the Pride Parade, at the Gay Pride, because I'm a homosexual. <laughs> and, um, Ew. I know. <laughs> and it was it was like 94 or 93. And she was dry, she was uh, uh, riding a horse as Lady Godiva down Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> I think it was Hollywood Boulevard. Um, yeah, I have a picture of her on the horse as Lady Godiva at Gay Pride. So, yeah, Judy Tenuta. I knew her. <laughs> We love Judy. We do. Judy billed herself as the love goddess and the Aphrodite of the accordion. In 2020, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and after a brutal battle, still with humor, she referred to herself as the queen of chemo for a while. She died in her studio city home. She was 72 years old. Her long-term partner, Vern Pang, released this statement on Judy's Facebook page. To Judy's friends and fans, it saddens me to share that Judy passed away on October 6, 2022. She fought cancer bravely for a year and a half and never gave up, but sometimes the universe has other plans. Please know that this community meant so much to her. We'll keep this page alive because Judy is not gone. She left years of laughter behind. She was my love for 14 years, and I already miss her more than words can say. On November 6th, a small service was held for close friends and family at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. My friend Richard Sebastian, who was very close to Judy, attended. He allowed me to use photographs from the service, including this memorial booklet that describes the order of service and the speakers. After the service, Judy's cremation niche was unveiled for the first time. It's packed with Judy memories for all to enjoy. Judy is in the Abbey of the Psalms Mausoleum, not far from the crypt of her namesake, Judy Garland. Judy herself didn't make it to her 73rd birthday, but a public celebration for her was held on that day at the Hollywood Museum. They called it a heavenly birthday party, a celebration for Judy. My friends Kim and Ron took these photographs as well as Richard Sebastian. Thank you for sharing these with us. On permanent display at the museum is the last outfit Judy Tenuta wore on stage. Thanks again Richard Sebastian, Kim and Ronnie Zell, and Mark Langoy for all the help with this video. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your attention. And until next time. <laughs>